So for this video, I try a simple, maybe more safe way to cast a small amount of copper. And at the same time, I put brass within the same mold, not trying to make them become one material, but to try to keep them kind of separate uh, on the same piece, if that makes any sense. Like last time, the mold is just simple modeling clay, nothing else. I flux it pretty good with boric acid. While I'm working on some tongs, I let the clay dry as much as possible on top of my forge. You can see the flux has crystallized to some degree. Just hoping that the mold stays intact. I pull the mold out to take a look. Uh, so far it looks pretty good. Doesn't look like it's going to fail. At this point, I've got my forge running at about 8 PSI. I might have went a little overboard melting the material that is holding it at melting temperature maybe too long. Also, I might have made the sides a little higher so that no material could spill over. And I wasn't very careful when I made the mold, so you can see the material's thicker on one end and thinner on the other, but this was just an experiment, and in fact this turned out to be a pretty good success from my standpoint. I'm not sure how clearly this is showing up on camera, but this is very interesting. And to me, this shows a lot of potential. Yeah, it's thin on that one end and it won't really make a good ring, but it's given me a lot of uh, ideas for what I can do for other pieces mixing these two materials, but as I said, keeping them distinct on the piece. I decide to give it a quench and see what that looks like. Although I couldn't control where the copper and the brass wound up in the end, this is really very interesting, and I think that I can take this to another level. I'm just having fun, and I hope this sparks your creativity. Catch you guys next time.